At least 14 people have been killed by tornadoes or flooding in the United States South and Midwest by a storm that also dumped rare late-season blizzard in western Kansas on Sunday. Tornadoes hit several small towns in East Texas, killing at least four people and hospitalizing more than 50. Five people were killed by flooding and winds in Arkansas, including a fire chief who was struck by a vehicle while working during the storm. Cove Creek Pearson Fire Chief Doug Decker died shortly before 4 a.m. on Sunday after being struck by a vehicle while checking water levels on Highway 25 near Quitman, about 40 miles, 64 kilometers, north of Little Rock, Trooper Liz Chapman said. His death will be included as a storm-related death. A two-year-old girl in Tennessee died after being struck by a heavy Metal football goalpost that was blown over by high winds, the Metro Nashville Police Department posted on its Twitter page on Sunday evening. Melanie Espinosa Rodriguez was transported to a local hospital where she was pronounced dead, according to a second post from the department. Middle Tennessee was hit by a strong line of storms that knocked down trees and power lines earlier on Sunday. Rescuers in northwest Arkansas continued Sunday to look for an 18-month-old girl and a four-year-old boy who were in a vehicle swept off a bridge by floodwaters in Hinesville, the Madison County Sheriff's Office said. In northwest Arkansas, a 10-year-old girl drowned in Springdale and the body of a woman who disappeared riding an inner tube Saturday was found in a creek in Eureka Springs. Also, a 65-year-old woman in the wit in the eastern part of the state was struck and killed in her home by a falling tree, officials said. In Texas, search teams were going door to door Sunday after the tornadoes the day before flattened homes, uprooted trees and flipped several pickup trucks at a Dodge dealership in Canton, about 50 miles east of Dallas. It is heartbreaking and upsetting to say the least. Canton Mayor Lou Anne Everett told reporters at a news conference Sunday morning. Ernestine Cook, a resident, told FATV that she made it to a storm shelter just in time. It hit so hard, so fast. It just kept moving, she said. I've never seen anything like it after 22 years of living here. The National Weather Service found evidence of four tornadoes with one twister possibly on the ground for 50 miles, 80 kilometers. The storms rolled through Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama on Sunday with strong winds causing isolated pockets of damage. In Durant in central Mississippi on person died in the storms. The Mississippi Emergency Management Agency didn't give details. Later on Sunday the agency reported the death of a child from Rankin County, 20 miles, 32 kilometers, east of Jackson, who died from electric shock in flood waters. The Rankin County Sheriff's Department reported that a seven-year-old boy had unplugged an electric golf cart and dropped the cord in water on the ground and was shocked. Near Clever in southwest in Missouri. A man tried to save his 72-year-old wife from floodwaters that swept away their vehicle on Saturday, but her body was found when the water receded, the Missouri State Highway Patrol said. A second death from weekend flooding was announced on Sunday by Missouri Governor Eric Rittens but he did not release any details about the victim or the circumstances of the death. Severe weather, including tornadoes is threatening lives and property across the Deep South after deadly tornadoes killed at least five people in northeastern Texas on Saturday. Four confirmed tornadoes touched down in northeastern Texas during the late afternoon and evening of Saturday. The five deaths occurred in Van Zandt County. One person was killed along Interstate 20 in Canton, according to local NBC affiliate. More than 50 people sustained injuries as homes were destroyed or damaged. More lives and property will be threatened as the severe weather focuses on communities from Alabama to Ohio. The severe weather and soaking rain to the north will also put residents and motorists at risk for new or worsening incidents of major flooding. Drier weather will return to these areas to start May but rivers will continue to rise through this week. At least two tornadoes left a trail of damage in the Van Zandt and Henderson counties in eastern Texas on Saturday evening. Canton, 
in Van Zandt County, was hit by a confirmed tornado. Another tornado is believed to have touched down in Eustis, in Henderson County. According to NBC DFW Weather, East Texas Medical Center in Tyler is expected to receive 40 patients from the Canton tornado. A triage center had been set up at Canton High School. ETMC Athens said it had received nine patients from the Eustis area, and that the extent of their injuries was unknown. First responders have pulled more than a dozen people from their homes in East Neosho, Missouri, according to the Joplin Globe. The flash flood warning for Newton County has been extended through 12.15 a.m. CSD on Sunday by the National Weather Service in Springfield. Emergency crews in Jasper County conducted seven water rescues within an hour today, according to Keith Stammer, Director of Emergency Management for Joplin and Jasper Counties. More river rescues also are being reported around the region, but Stammer and other emergency managers in the region say they have had no reports of fatalities or injuries so far. Venning, according to emergency officials. The twister tore through parts of the town at about 6 p.m. CDT, and the National Weather Service issued a particularly dangerous situation tornado warning to alert residents. Minutes after the tornado moved away from the town, the NWS reported major damage. A car dealership was demolished, and vehicles were flung into the air and landed on an adjacent highway. According to KLTV.com, the Ben Wheeler Volunteer Fire Department confirmed a body was found in a field in Canton as residents began to clean up the damage. At least 49 people were injured. Canton is a town of about 3,500 located some 50 miles east of Dallas. The town is home to the first Monday Trade Days Market, where thousands of people were camping out this weekend and on the final weekend of every month. A second twister was in progress near Canton a few minutes later. That tornado tracked northeast, into the town of Emory, where emergency managers reported damage. The extent of that damage wasn't immediately known. Another tornado was reported in the Caney City area just minutes earlier, and an unknown number of people were injured, according to an NWS report.